Welcome back to the Embraer E175 tutorial series. We're now in one of the last steps we have to do here, which is, of course, the after landing and shutdown procedure for the Embraer E175. This is going to be a relatively short video because there's not a whole lot of detail here, but just uh, we'll run you through the procedures really quickly and uh, you'll be ready for your first flight in the Embraer E175. Let's hop in the flight deck. So we've just cleared the active runway and we've gotten our initial tax instructions. Because we've landed here in Boston and we have one more runway to cross before we get over to the ramp, we're going to delay our after landing flow until we're clear of all the active runways. And this is a general policy at most airlines now is not to do the after landing flow immediately, especially if you have to cross any active runways. We usually wait until a taxi clearance has been obtained, all the active runways are clear, and then the captain calls for the after landing flow. The one thing that might be done separately before you get the after landing flow is just cycling all the lights to their correct position for taxiing so we're not taxiing around with landing lights and strobes and everything on. But the rest of the after landing flow will usually wait till we've cleared our, all of the active runways. Now that we've cleared all the active runways, the captain will call for the after landing flow. After landing flow. And this will require the first officer to do a couple of things. First of all, reset the flaps to zero. Second, reset the pitch trim to 4.0, which is the normal uh, default pitch trim position in the Embraer. Check that the anti-ice is on if it's required. So if uh, you're taxiing around in winter conditions, you may need the engine anti-ice on for taxiing. Cycle all the lights off as well. Or if you've already done the light cycle, just make sure that all the lights are in the correct position. And then last but not least, start the APU. In some airlines, you'll defer the start of the APU until you're approaching the ramp. The APU in the Embraer only takes about 45 seconds to start. We are kind of already approaching the ramp here, so we're going to start it now. But to save fuel, some airlines will require you to delay the start of the APU until you're actually approaching the ramp. There's also one important condition you need to be aware of before you do a shutdown in the Embraer, and that is that the engines have to run at or near idle for at least two minutes prior to shutdown, just to ensure that the engine cooling is appropriate and that the engines are not going to uh, overheat as soon as the uh, cooling flow from the fans are all taken away. There we go, we've already got the APU at 100%, and we haven't even reached the gate area yet. As we approach the gate for our arrival, Make sure that the taxi light is off so you don't blind any ramp personnel. And double check that the APU is available. 100% APU is available. Now we just have to get marshaled into the gate. And there we go. Once we reach the gate, Set the parking brake, make sure the thrust levers are at idle, and then double check that you have a source of electrical power. Either the APU should be on, or the GPU is connected and turned on. Once one of these sources is available, make sure that they are on for at least 10 seconds prior to shutting down the engines to make sure that there's no electrical transients from the systems stabilizing. So the APU's been running for about a minute and a half now, so we can go ahead and shut down engine one and engine two. So once the engines are off, we turn off hydraulic pump 3A. We turn off the red beacon. And we turn off the seatbelt sign and the stereo light to indicate the passengers can move around the cabin. And finally, set the transponder to standby. We're then ready to read the shutdown checklist. Shutdown checklist. Emergency park and brake. Set. Make sure the emergency parking brake light is on to indicate there's actually pressure in the line. Passenger signs panel. Set. Make sure the fasten seatbelt sign and the sterile sign are off depending on the SOPs for your airline. Start stop selectors. Stop. Engines. Off. Make sure both engines are showing off on the N1 indicator. Hydraulic panel. Set. So make sure that all the hydraulic pumps are auto except for the 3A pump which should be always off when we're done here. Red beacon, off. Transponder, standby. Make sure it's standby. And nav aids and nav accuracy reset. So if you've manually tuned any nav aids, this would be the time to reset it to the auto-tune function on the FMS. Shutdown checklist complete. 
So that's it, we've made it safely to the gate and we're ready to disembark our passengers, turn around and start it all again. That's the end of the initial tutorial series on the Embraer E-175. You can now successfully do a very basic flight. Stay tuned to my channel and you will see a few more tutorial videos about the Embraer E-175 published. I have a few more topics I'd like to cover including single engine taxi and go arounds. As well, I may update some of these videos as the quality of this aircraft improves and the FMS system is updated to more accurately reflect the real aircraft. Thank you very much everybody for watching. I hope you've learned something about how to operate the Embraer watching these tutorials. And if you have any questions, please ask in the comments below. I hope to see you in some future videos.